Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is uh, Will Kenish up in Steamboat. I am at 2350 Ski Trail Lane, unit number 231. We're in uh, building 200 of the uh, ski and condos. I wanted to capture the view first because uh, the view is pretty impressive. You can see out to uh, the gondola. You can see Emerald Mountain and the Grand. You can see that the snow is falling. It should be a good day tomorrow. So, um, and then we got the guys cleaning the, uh, the parking area right now. But right over here, you can see the access to the, the resort. Um, it's a ski in location, and then you walk out and, and you can uh, drop straight down to the, to the slopes. So I'm out on the patio or the, the deck. It's a concrete deck. It's about six foot by 10 or 12 foot. Good sized deck, decent rails, good views. It does have a uh, gas burning grill on, on the deck that is uh, hooked up um, hard, hard lines into the, the grill. So coming into the unit, uh, it's got a living area. It's got a gas burning fireplace here, stone surround. Stone surround here that goes up to the ceiling. They've got tongue and groove uh, pine on the ceiling here. Little uh, entertainment area. The artwork is specifically not included, but otherwise this unit is considered uh, furnished or turnkey. And over here they've got room for dining of uh, six people. And then the kitchen. Kitchen has an older appliances or at least simpler appliances with the white uh, coil stove for mica countertops the cabinets are uh, maple with some old bright brass hardware so might be time for an update here in the kitchen but it's a uh, um, it's all in good shape floor is tile here and in the dining room and then also over to the entry so before i go over to the entry i'll stop into um, the bedroom here, here they've got large master bedroom. It has a window to the resort. It's got a double door, kind of a standard closet, king size bed, room for bedside tables on both sides. And then master bath, simple three piece bath with a, a oak cabinet, solid surface sink, Typical toilet, um, shower, tile shower, tile base. So it's in, it's, it's in good shape, but it is dated. So in here on the floor coverings, we've got a carpet. Carpet also looks like it's in good shape, but it's um, not very stylish. And it looks like it's got some wear patterns on it that you could, uh, but it does look like they did recently clean it. So moving along over here, you can see they've got a ladder. The ladder goes up to a loft. Um, here is the entry and they've got a bench seat. So you, when you come in, you can hang up your, uh, your jackets and your gloves, stick your boots underneath the bench and you've got a tile area. So you don't have to worry about uh, water coming off your boots and, and everything else. Going into the second bedroom. Second bedroom has a window that also overlooks the resort. This one's set up with a, a queen, but you can see that there's room on both sides um, that you could get a king size bed in here if you really wanted to. It would be possible. It's got mirrored mirrored door over here. And then it's got uh, a closet here, which they have set up as a uh, owner's closet so they've got the cleaning supplies and light bulbs and things like that it is kind of your typical uh, depth closet two foot two and a half foot deep but it does have a locking knob on it so you can lock this off and uh, keep keep your keep your guests out so moving along good size bedroom i'd say that this uh, bedroom is probably 12 by 13 
and then go back out to the entry you can see off of the entry is uh, a, a, the second bath second bath has a tub shower combo this is a built-in fiberglass unit same toilet same sink setup as the other unit and then the same tile floor so all right let's go check out the extra bonus space so this is set up with one a crazy um, ladder style set of steps which gets you up fast and comes with uh, nice handrails it feels nice and solid and secure and then you come up and you've got views and natural light to the resort so you can see over to the grand which is cool you can see down into the living room and the fireplace and then here's a good glimpse of the space it's set up with a queen size bed with a, a twin above it it's got fairly tall ceilings in here and they've got it set up with an older tv and a older chest of drawers again it's got tongue and groove on the ceiling so this would be a good good space for kids um create some separation between uh the kids and the adults kind of nice and then you do do have views which is quite nice so a couple basic things about uh about this unit the going down the ladder i suggest you do it backwards rather than the way i am um but the unit itself is uh, 966 square feet that equates to a thousand and eighty seven dollars per square foot the hoa is thirteen thousand five hundred dollars per year and then the taxes are eighteen seventy four thousand eight hundred and seventy four per year so the unit is being sold furnished um, I'd say it's time for new furnishings but it's certainly rentable um, as it is if you want to maximize your rental income you'd want to probably get this this stuff swapped out the HOAs, uh, if, if you're used to HOAs down in the Denver area, these HOAs are a bit higher, but they also include a lot of things. So your cable is included, gas is included, um, internet's included, the grounds maintenance, on-site check-in, recycling, sewer, shuttle service, snow removal, trash, and water are all included. The one utility that's not included is electric. Um, and then the rental income, actual rental income for this unit was at uh, 57600 last year. So it's doing decent. I have seen uh, income estimates for units that are similar to this that are actually better than that. And I will try and round up a, an income estimate that um, might do a little better than what they've currently got. So with that, I'm going to pop out of the unit and show you a few things about the the facility